Hello, my name's Mr Hill and I'm here to talk to you about GCSE Computer Science at Priestland School. We follow the OCR specification at Priestlands, and as you can see on screen now, the course is split into two main components. Component one, titled Computer Systems, and component two, titled Computational Thinking, Algorithms and Programming. In component one, pupils will look at topics that include the CPU, memory, storage, computer networks, network security, and system software, as well as looking at ethical, legal, cultural, and environmental impacts of digital technology. In component two, pupils will look at topics that include algorithms, Boolean logic, translators, and programming fundamentals. However, the main aspect of this component is learning the fundamentals of good programming. Pupils will spend a huge proportion of their curriculum time, up to 70% working on these skills in Python. Pupils who currently study computer science in year nine will have begun developing these absolutely crucial skills for this course. This is the part of the course that pupils find particularly enjoyable and engaging, and therefore we spend as much time as possible programming within the lessons. This course is perfectly suited to pupils who love programming, and those are the sorts of pupils that we're looking for. How is the course assessed? Pupils will be externally assessed through two written papers. Each component I spoke about previously is assessed in an exam. Both are non-calculator written papers. And I always have to emphasize the fact that those are written papers in computer science. In component one, pupils will answer a range of multiple choice questions, short response questions, and extended response questions. I often call component two, the programming paper. This paper will test the pupil's ability to write and refine algorithms to solve problems. And again, this will be done on paper. So pupils will learn to program through Python, but then when it comes to doing the real written exam, it will all be assessed via their code, which will be handwritten. This is a paper that we've historically done exceptionally well in over the years due to the amount of programming preparation that pupils undertake. Both papers are an hour and a half long, 80 marks, and evenly weighted at 50%. Finally, what does the course lead to beyond Priestlands? Well, the world really is your oyster if you are successful in computer science. There are very few industries where computer science skills will not be beneficial. And I think the last year has made computer science skills even more in demand and change the workplace into a computer scientist world. You can see on screen some of the more popular careers that computer science can lead to. Computer science teaches pupils to break down problems and work out solution. This applies to almost all employment. So I have no doubt in saying that computer science will benefit pupils moving on to almost anything. My parting message to pupils who are struggling to make a final choice would be to look at the programming element of your year nine course. Do you enjoy programming? Can you honestly say that that is something that you enjoy? If you do enjoy this part of the year nine course, then I have absolutely no doubt that you will love GCSE Computer Science. Thank you very much for listening. Um, I hope to see lots of familiar faces um, on the course next year. Um, thanks again and goodbye.